In the previous video, we discussed about the iron metabolism. While we discussed about its first two steps, that is the intake of iron and its transport to the enterocytes up to the blood circulation. Now this is the extended part of the iron metabolism, which will include the storage and recycling of iron ions in our body. So let's get started. We know in the transport of iron. We have an iron ion bound to a transparent molecule called iron transparent as shown in the figure. And it's only due to this transparent molecule which has capability to transport the iron ions throughout our body. And we know it's present in the blood circulation. In order to understand it diagrammatically, we'll have a liver on the left and a macrophage cell on the right. And also there's a bone marrow which plays a major role in iron physiology. Now, first of all, this iron transparent complex transports this bound iron to the bone marrow, where pro-erythroblast cell receives the transparent molecule by its transparent receptor. On its reception, the iron is used for the erythropoiesis process. We know to make a hemoglobin molecule, iron is needed, since hemoglobin has coarse structure made up of iron molecule. So finally, in the end, we get erythrocytes. Now, let's get to the liver now. This transparent molecule also transports iron to the liver, where iron combines with apoferritin molecule and produces a complex molecule called ferritin, which is a complex of iron in its non-toxic form, so it can be stored here. And sometimes this is converted to hemosiderin also. So both these iron complex molecules, ferritin as well as hemosiderin, acts as iron stores in our body. Now getting back to the bone marrow, where we saw the erythropoiesis and the RBC is getting into circulation. But it must be noted here, not all the erythroblasts are getting matured into RBCs, because there are some malformed erythroblasts due to inefficient erythropoiesis. And from these malformed erythroblasts, the two different iron entities are released. One is hemoglobin iron complex, the other one is heme iron molecule. Both these released iron complexes bind to different molecules. The hemoglobin iron binds to heptoglobin molecule, while the heme iron binds to hemopexin molecule. Both these complex formation prevents the oxidative activity of iron complexes. Then finally, all the iron containing complexes and all deformed RBCs and also old RBCs are engulfed by macrophages in the bone marrow or in the liver and spleen, where complexes are broken down. And from this breakdown, it releases free iron ions which is either stored as hemosiderin stores or is recycled back to the blood circulation, resulting in the iron recycling. So this is all about iron storage and recycling. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.